Stop building so many union queries in Cognos Analytics reporting. It's bad for performance, and it's bad for you. In today's episode of Super Data Brothers, I'm going to show you how to ditch that mess of union queries and take your Cognos Analytics report authoring to the next level. Let's check it out. Okay, so here you can see a really simple report I'm trying to construct. Retailer type, month revenue, quarter revenue, and year revenue. This is something that people do all the time, especially if you're doing financial reporting or anything like that. And the way this most commonly is done, and I see this constantly when I go into clients and they say, oh, my reports are slow or you know, we're just having all these problems with our content, what's going on? I go in and I see this, right? This is a really simple example, but you can already see what a mess this can be. So what's going on here? Well, I've got these three queries, month query, quarter query, and year query. And what I've done is I've got the exact same data items in each one, but I've created a set of filters that you can see here that specify the data that I'm looking for, right? That filter it down to just that. So in this case, this combination of data items and filters is gonna give me just the month information, right? Um, whereas this one will give me just the quarter information. You can see year 2011 and quarter Q Q3 because I'm using the Cognos samples. You know, we're way in the past here. Um, and then likewise, if I check out year query, I'm gonna get the same thing. It's filtered to year equals 2011, okay? And then what people do is they will union year query and month query together to create year month. And then they will union year month and quarter together to create year month quarter. And they'll use this as the basis for their, uh, their chart or their table or list, whatever it is they're building. Now, why is this a problem? There's two reasons. One, the performance that you're gonna get out of this is gonna be really poor especially as you multiply these union queries. And I'm telling you, they multiply, right? They're like tribbles from Star Trek. You start with three union queries and you wind up with 57. And I'm not kidding, I've seen that. 57 union queries in a single report. And then people ask me, why does this report take two hours to run? That's why. The second problem is, as you imagine this multiplying out, we're gonna run into a problem where it's just impossible to understand what's going on here. Uh, as a new person coming in to try to debug this, it's very challenging when I see the design pattern of union query, union query, union query, union query. What is a better way? Let me show you right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into queries, and uh, we'll create a new query here. And maybe we'll, we'll call this query, we'll give this the, the name of uh, calc query, okay? And what we're going to do, and this is the number one way to solve this problem is we're gonna rely on calculations to take care of all of these unions. We're gonna knock all these unions out and all of these subqueries out into a single query that's gonna perform way better, okay? So what do we do here? Well, the first thing we do is we need our retailer type. Great, let's grab retailer type. And now I'm going to add in revenue and I'm going to create calculations that do give me the month, quarter and year revenue without relying on union queries at all and without using any detail filters, okay? And here's how you do it. We're gonna call this one, we'll start with year revenue because that's the simplest, okay? Year revenue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a case statement, okay? So we're gonna say case when, and then I'm gonna grab the year equals there we go, equals 2011. Then I want you to give me the value for revenue. Okay, so when the year equals 2011, give me the value for revenue or else give me a zero. And I'm gonna end it there, okay? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna evaluate each row and it's gonna say, okay, if the value for this row in the database, if the value for year equals 2011, then use the revenue item, okay? Use the value of revenue or else put a zero in here, okay? So we're only gonna get revenue for years that equal 2011. Boom, year revenue, okay? Now I'm gonna copy paste this and we'll do the same thing, except this is gonna be our quarter revenue. So quarter, quarter revenue. And this time we're looking at the year equals 2011, but we're gonna add in here and the uh, quarter, so go down to time and grab quarter. Oops. 
equals, and this is going to be Q3, okay? So same thing. It's going to evaluate each row of the data coming in, and when the year equals 2011 and the quarter equals Q3, it'll give us the revenue value, and when that condition is not met, it will give us a zero, okay? Finally, we're going to do the same thing. We'll paste again. And this one we'll call month revenue. So month revenue. And it's very similar. We're looking at the year equals 2011. And when the month equals October. So month equals October, okay? Same logic, same logic that we had before. Now let me go ahead and, and I'll just view tabular data, make sure I didn't mess anything up here. We look good, okay. This is how we get rid of, we just slayed that entire union monster using these simple calcs. So I've got my calc query. Let me go back to my report and on my calc page, I'm gonna insert a list. We'll call this calc list. We're gonna base it off of the calc query. Looks good. Let me go in and look at my available data items here. And you'll see as I add these in that we have the same data. It's the exact same data that we had before, okay? Um, in order to prove that to you, send this in ascending order and we'll get this in the right order so it's month, quarter, year, okay? Month, quarter, year, retailer type. Let's switch between the pages. Okay, here's union page. Here's calc page. Exact same data. But this is going to perform way better, and someone coming in to look at this in the future is going to be able to understand what's happening. With that union mess, they're not going to be able to. Now, there's a final piece of this that I want to show you, and this is where the power of data modules and the relative time feature comes into play. This is really kind of blows away all of this conversation and makes it trivially easy with no calculations or unions to produce the data that we're looking at right here. So let's take a look at that, okay? Let me look at my data module page. And here I'm going to do a similar thing. I want to add a list. We'll call this um, uh, DM list. And we'll give this the, we'll create a new query for it that we'll call DM query. Now, what am I going to do here? This is beautiful, uh, really. And, and this is why if you're not using data modules, you need to get on it because of features like this. Okay, retailer type. Now, remember I wanted year, quarter, and month revenue. Well, with the relative time feature and data modules, it will automatically generate all of these kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, relative measures. So, okay, um, well, let's take a look at current year. Great, and let's look at current quarter. Uh, great, and now let's look at current month. I put those in the wrong order, um, so let me reorder them, but you get the point, right? So we got month, and then quarter and year. I did no calculations, I did no unioning, I did nothing of the sort, and as you can see, we've got the same data that we had before as I switch between the pages. Right, exact same data, but I didn't have to do any unions or any calcs. So this is the number one way when I go in and look at a report, how do I know whether I'm looking at something that's produced by a high level Cognos Pro or someone who's a little earlier on in the career who could maybe use some coaching? I look at how they're using unions. And if I'm being honest with you, I barely ever use unions anymore when I build reports because I'm able to accomplish the same thing more simply and with better performance by either using calculations or by using the relative time or lookup reference feature of data modules. So this is my advice to you. If you wanna hit the next level, you wanna be a top level Cognos consultant who makes reports that no one else can make elegantly, simply, great performance. These are the techniques you need to master. 
and I'm here to help you master it. So click the like button, subscribe, uh, follow us, follow me, at, connect with me on LinkedIn. Feel free to reach out at any time. I'm here to help you take it to the next level. And until then, this is Ryan Dolly signing off with Super Data Brothers. Have a good one, everybody.